Well, Chan Chan, I, one thing I was wondering with the quotes you had there from some of the more recent literary critics like Donna Haraway and Deleuze and Guattari was that they seem to be stating ideas that were pretty clear in Isley, but I don't believe they ever give him any credit for any of those ideas. <laughs> No, actually, it's my idea that to, to connect them together. Mm -hmm. It's when I, um, well, I love reading essay, and I take notes when I find um, his philosophical thoughts, not ever say because he, his writings are quite, um, how to say, large, mm -hmm. it touches many subjects. Mm -hmm. And when I uh, read, Donna Howard. Well, I don't read all of her books, just like one special Smith and the other two. Um, when I read the, this paragraph, when I um, reflect, uh, when I reflect, think about no. what Donna Howard talks about the bonds between humans and animals, especially this Thank paragraph, you. talk about the organism no. that make up human body and now so yes it's uh it's actually my my idea my um i think i think uh is well not uh of course not um totally not totally because the, there are huge differences between ideas um of sv and the donna howey on ecology on the um how we can become ways the company species around us or within us as a uh, life forms. There are huge differences. Uh, for example, as we focus, I think it's more in his writing, in his imagination, it's like a poetic e expression. Um, but Donna Howe, uh, in, his, in her writing, the becoming with animals are quite real. Actually, that's what she tries to access. So, um, so yes, they yeah. and uh, they're quite modern, right? Donna Howe and uh, Deleuze. They uh, they don't know Aspie, sure. <laughs> yeah. No, that was sort of my point is that these people who are writing about these things that were anticipated in Isley haven't don't seem to be aware of his work yeah. and and mm -hmm. haven't right. haven't done the kind of research we might expect of these top top name <laughs> literary critics um, there. So, and so they say things that that we that you noticed and and I think yeah, we would all right. see are actually ideas that Isley had, um, but they don't, you know, they, they act like they're new ideas, <laughs> I suppose, <laughs> and, and they get credit for them. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Well, maybe that's, that's, that's the part that I like um, as little writing. I think his writing is not just limited to the 20th century, right? Mm -hmm. I think he's different from, uh, some somehow different from his contemporary uh, writers. He, th they share ideas mm -hmm. like um, labeled like Carlson, Rachel Carlson, like Wilson. Uh, they, they share ideas about uh, the damage that uh, the political ideas uh, that the damage uh, human made to the natural world. Uh, they well, it's uh, like a topic scientific, even uh, at that time very popular. But the thing that I, um, when I read Leslie, um, very often I find that for sure I agree with him his ideas. Uh, even now, even now, some some issues, you know, some issues in the real world uh, about war, about teachers, about humanity, about animal, about uh, the nature, about man's role in the natural world. I found it's quite modern, actually. It, it somehow anticipates various right, modern right, and their modern ideas about ecology. That's what I found wonderful about as we write. Well, not all of his writing, for sure, but uh, at some point. <laughs> OK. 
Yeah, I think that maybe um, a lot of the things that uh, Isley uh, recognized there that some of these people are picking up on are actually really fundamental tensions. Like that, that quote about uh, the now uh, uh, as uh, if you live entirely in the now or if, if your attention is focused entirely on the now, then that's that uh, excludes you from from things that are actually important in terms of uh, understanding uh, the big picture, as it were. And these things show up in, in all kinds of uh, places uh, if you look for them, I think. I, I'm reminded of uh, some of the, some of this. There's a book I don't know if you're familiar with. It's uh, actually nonfiction. It's it's about um, relationships, but it's called uh, Your Inner Fish by Neil Shubin, who's a paleontologist. Uh, and that, again, is this uh, the fundamental unity of all living things. And he is just specifically looking at vertebrate evolution, but it, it applies on a much larger scale as well. I think that quote about the now is part of Isley's argument with the counterculture youth of his time right. there and that famous book be here now and which of course is i mean i i would like to argue with him about this a little bit because he's not right. putting it in the context of buddhism or you know right like, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah he's thinking and, that it's sort of a, a mindless youth oriented phenomenon well, i think i think it's very appropriate to things that i you see happening right now uh, uh especially if you look at social media that there's a, a discounting of history as something that's done uh, as opposed to that it's something that is still with us. Uh, that we, we live in our history. Well, yeah, I, agree. Uh, I think that the the, uh, the concept of now in Buddhism is an entirely different sort of thing. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I feel that at this point, um, worried that the youngs the the generation the new generation uh uh in um, how to say um uh, forget the older um history the forgotten culture the fallen culture for example he is quite worried uh, about this actually for him uh, like all the forgotten uh, cultures uh, the fallen uh, civilization, they have some meanings, they have some lessons for the modern man, for the modern world. That's, that's what, what, why he tries to urge the young, the young generation about the past, well, not only our animal past, but the whole human history. I think he tries to make us aware of our place in the natural world as well in the cultural world to in order to put us in the center of the stage, not like we are the stars, the other things are not important, are second, secondly important. Uh, I think uh, he tries to make us um, be aware of the spare of time. I think that's one, um, action one thing can make us be responsible for our behavior because if you realize what time can do what history can do to human how to world to to the nature so we may be more responsible for our behavior i think it's my feelings <laughs> 